In this session, we would talk about another important fallacies and that is fallacies of defective induction. So far, we have talked about formal fallacies under four categories. The fallacies of relevance, the fallacies of ambiguity, defective induction and then presumption. This defective induction fallacy comes under four categories. The first important category is the arguments from ignorance. Now, what does this mean? This actually means that uh, let's say moon uh, if I say moon is not made up of cotton but a child says that might be the inner core of the moon is filled up with cotton so I can say that moon is made up of cotton so this is a kind of argument which is coming from ignorance the child does not know what it is made of and therefore he is trying to argue on that basis and this is a kind of fallacy that exists which is a formal fallacy of deductive induction so whenever we say fallacies of deductive induction, these arise because uh, there are common mistakes in the premises of the arguments that are there and these common mistakes lead to the kind of four fallacies that we are discussing. So the first one is, as I said, the argument of ignorance that is because of the ignorance and here we have the another name for it. The next is the appeal to an inappropriate authority. That means that person is not eligible or is not authoritative for that work that he is trying to tell you so let's say uh, I am driving and a two year old uh, three year old child sitting beside me says that the speed limit is 60 don't go beyond so what does that mean that means that might be he is saying something that is correct but there is an inappropriate uh, authority and that's what is an appeal for inappropriate authority because he is not of the age of 16 and above eligible to drive or does not have even a license for the same. The next is a false cause. A false cause is very, very simple. You can associate two disjointed things and that's what is a false cause. So simply put, I can say because I cuffed here you were not able to exam uh, clear the exam and that's what is a false cause there is no relation between the two but you are trying to create a false cause between the two things similar to the false cause i can say a subsection of it could be a fallacy due to a kind of slippery slope that is there so let's say i have a child and i say this child is very naughty i'll not allow him to go outside the room I will not allow him to go outside the house and I won't allow him to go outside uh, the neighborhood so what actually means is this that is a kind of slippery slope that you are afraid of and therefore you lock the child in the room and that is a slippery slope so every time uh, let's say you give one exam you are not able to qualify you give another exam you are not able to qualify so that's a kind of slippery slope where you develop negativity about yourself so that that's a kind of false cause okay so you have to understand that false cause you are trying to create a nuance because there are two things that are not related to one another but you are trying to relate those two things together the next is hasty generalization that's a kind of quick decision that you take so let's say I have a toothache I go to a dentist I visit three dentists and each of them say that toothaches are not because of eating too many chocolates. I have seen uh, people eating hundreds of chocolates a day, still no cavities. So there is no cavities because of chocolate. So what happens is this is a kind of hasty generalization. My sample size is very, very small in order to make a decision. But based on that small sample size, you have created a decision. And that's what is a hasty generalization. So a quick recap of the four types of fallacies of defective induction. Argument uh, from ignorance that is uh, you are ignorant about something you don't know about something and you are trying to put an argument appeal to an inappropriate authority the person who is trying to convince you does not have an authority for the same as the example of driving we discussed false cause where you are trying to relate to unrelated things might be in the first case you failed in the exam because uh, you did not prepare in the second case you did not uh, cleared it because you were not well but 
you are trying to create a cause that you fail every time and you are not good okay so that's a kind of false cause that is there the next is hasty generalization you come up with quick decisions and that's sometime leading to a kind of uh, mistaken uh, arguments that you consider so these are the four types of fallacies of defective induction further fallacies and formal fallacies we will be covering in the upcoming lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead